In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn an Exodus crypto wallet into a secure offline wallet. What I'm going to do is move the files for this Exodus wallet right here, which is just set up for demo purposes, onto a hard drive. I'm going to secure this with a password. I'm going to encrypt the whole drive. So if someone wanted to access my files, they would need to get, if they got my laptop, then that wouldn't give them access because the files are not there. They'd need to get hold of this, which I could store in a secure place. I could, if I needed fairly regular access to my wallet, I could put this on a lanyard, wear it around my neck. Equally well, you could use an SD card, which you could then uh, keep in your wallet. Or if you wanted to keep a wallet in a very secure location, like a safety deposit box or a safe or something like that, then you could do that as well with something like this. So in order to gain access to my wallet, someone would first need to get my drive, then they would need to bypass two passwords, the password for the encryption of the drive and the password for the Exodus wallet itself. So that's what I'm going to do. The first thing I need to do here on Exodus is I need to close that, close Exodus down here. This is as of yet an unencrypted drive. So I'm gonna plug that in and encrypt it. These are the, this is how you do it on a Mac. I'm gonna be using Disk Utility, a built-in software here to erase this. Now, you need to make sure that on your view panel that you can show, see all devices. If it's selected show only volumes, then you'll only see this disk here, this volume here but you won't see the actual device. So I need to see the device so that when I click on the Erase options, I can use the GUID partition map options here. So that's what I need. And I change the format here to Mac OS Extended Encrypted. Once I select that option, I get prompted to put a password in. Now, as I said, this password is meant to add a decent layer of security to your wallet. So don't use an easy to guess password. I would advise using some kind of password manager, one password, last pass, dash lane, one of those to encrypt your disk with a decent password. But this is just a demo, so I'm just gonna choose a straightforward one here. Okay, so I've chosen my password, click choose, and you can rename your disk as well, I'll call it Exodus. And now when you click erase, it will go through the process of erasing and then reformatting the drive with the encryption there. Click erase and that will take a little while. What I'm gonna do whilst that's taking place is I'm gonna locate the wallet files that are moved from my desktop onto the drive once it's been encrypted. So to do that, I open up a finder window here and I need to go into my library and then within there, there's an application support folder. The instructions for this actually come from uh, the Exodus website itself. It tells you what, which files you need to delete if you want to set up a new pass, a new wallet. So to access my library, you can click on go and then hold down the alt key or option key. And then when you select, uh, when you do that, you can see the library folder appearing there just under your home folder. So I click on that library folder, and now I'm into that library folder. I look for application support here, and you can see a folder in there called Exodus. And this is the folder that I need to move onto my drive when it's encrypted. That's got all of my wallet files in it. Okay, this is now completed successfully. So I'll just get rid of that. You can see at the moment I can open up that folder no trouble, that's because it's just completed the job. If I eject that, take it out of that drive there, stick that back in, it's now prompting me for the password. So whilst it's not impossible to break encryption, the average person who might, if they robbed your house and stole your, your disk, they probably couldn't do that. So there we go. Now I can access my folder that I've now that I have um, 
enter the password. Now, the important thing to do here is I need to move this folder into my drive. I mustn't copy it. If I copy it, then it's going to leave the original copy on my desktop. So I've gained nothing. In fact, I've worsened my security by having two instances of my wallet files. So you want to move it. And the way that you do that on a Mac, click and drag. And now whilst you're dragging, start to hold down the command key. So this is the key next to your spacebar. And now when I let go, you will see that it's moving it, not copying it. And so this one has now disappeared. That means that my wallet is now on my external disk. And if I eject that, now I can keep this in the secure location that I want to keep it in. And if someone gains access to my desktop remotely or physically, then they can't access my wallet because the files are not there. So you keep that safe. Now, what's What's to happen if someone opens up Exodus on my desktop now without this being present? Well, let's see what happens. Now you'll note you'll recognize this screen from the first time you used Exodus. This is the welcome screen and you can see there is absolutely nothing in this. This is not actually a fully fledged wallet yet. In order to Make it a fully fledged wallet, you need to transfer some assets in. So you can see that it's zero everywhere and it's just waiting for you to input some assets so that it can become a fully fledged wallet. So that's what happens. You, you'll notice also that when I opened up Exodus, it recreated the Exodus folder in my application support folder here. So it's created all the new files, all the preferences, and, and all the data, databases, and so on. So that is not my wallet. That's a completely new instance of it. If I would want to access my wallet, make sure that Exodus is closed. So I'm closing it here. And you put your disk in. Okay, I need to put my password in. And one thing here, when you're prompted to put your password in, you do get this option to remember the password in your keychain. My advice would be leave that unticked and use a password manager instead with a really good password. Uh, the reason for that is that, say if someone does get your disk and your laptop, they can't just plug the disk in and gain access to your wallet. They still need to put the password in to decrypt the hard drive. So that would be my advice there. Don't save it in the keychain. Right, so put your password in each time. Okay, I have my wallet files here. Now here, at this stage, if you're just gonna open up the wallet, do some transactions in your wallet, and then close it again, it doesn't matter too much if you move or copy. Because I presume that by the, if you're going through this process, that when you finish using your wallet on your desktop, you're gonna move the files back to your secure offline disk. So if you're moving or copying, it shouldn't matter too much. My advice would be to just move it every single time so that you're in that habit and you don't make a mistake. Uh, but if you were to copy it in this case, um, you've, got, you've got to make sure you choose replace here, whether you move or copy. Uh, but yeah, if you were to copy it and then make sure you move it back, that's it's moving it off your desktop onto the disk that's really vital that you move rather than copy. Okay, so I've moved the files back and I've replaced the folder that Exodus had recreated. Now, if you, if you don't open up Exodus when your disk is not in, you won't get that folder being recreated and you won't have to go through the process. Of replacing it you'll just be dropping it into the folder that's fine so let's open up Exodus now and you'll see that I'm being prompted for my password so let's get my password here okay so I'll get my password put that in and now you can see that I've put my password in 
I've decrypted the wallet and the, this is the wallet that I was showing you right at the beginning. So I have indeed transferred my files to the disk, kept them on there and then when I want to access them again, I can do that by moving the files back and putting the password in. I hope you found that useful and I hope that it helps to keep your crypto assets safe. Uh, if you've got any feedback, then please drop me a line in the comments section.